Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Ursulescu and welcome to Suzuka Japan, our last race course in our GT2 GT3 series race event here at Monster Hobbies. Honda built the Suzuka circuit back in 1961 to test their cars, race cars, and motorcycles. It is a very long and twisty track, the kind that you would want as a factory to produce, so that you could test every aspect of your motor vehicle's handling. Shock absorbers, suspension, and how the, your car will go through your curves and all the rest. So this track is very challenging, and it got very popular. So people started to ask Honda if they could race Grand Prix there. Well, Honda agreed, and it's been a Grand Prix track ever since. So here, we're, here we are in Suzuka, Japan, and we're about to show you this amazing race course, as it was in 1965. And there's some interesting changes that have been made since that time, which we'll go into as we see the track. So join us now in Japan as we see our amazing Suzuka circuit. So here we are at the race course in Suzuka, Japan, moving through the pits where you can see our controllers and counter and everything. And we're moving down the pits where we see our Mercedes and the Ferrari. Now I've programmed these cars to be ghost cars today so that we can see them run through the race course as I discuss the different aspects of this race course. So here we go. And there they're off through the through the pits. So as we come down the, the straight through the pit area, we come into this crossing. And our first curve is called the first turn. This is what it's really called in Japan. So here we go around the first turn. And the next section we reach is known as the S's, basically for their shape. They look like S-curves. So we move here through the S's, and we come around this corner, and we get into the Dunlop Curve. And Dunlop Curve curves here, and this is where our track widens out into the four lanes. We would have done this earlier, right at the start gate, but we didn't have enough track to actually make it around the whole area with the outer pieces. So I'll have to order more of those for future race. So this curve here is the Degner curve, which leads us underneath the famous bridge. Now the real bridge actually goes all the way across there and declines at the start finish gate, but we didn't have enough of the elevation pieces and whatnot, so ours just goes over top of the, two, the four lanes. So here we go over the bridge with our camera down these straights into the famous hairpin curve. The hairpin curve is going around here, like that, where we get into this chicane style area. And as we go through there, we come into the spoon curve, which goes like this, and around back into two lanes, across the bridge, and around this curve, and down this straightaway here, and into the start-finish gate. Now, I'm just going to take the camera back a little bit and explain something here. This curve area is how it originally looked in 1965. Now the problem with this was the cars were gaining fast acceleration around this corner and the next place they ended up was going right down that lane into the pit area. Now the problem that they encountered back in the day was that cars are going so fast through the pit area that guys that were in the pits coming out were getting rear-ended horrifically at like 145 miles an hour or more. 
so the modern track, right in that section here, right in here, they recreated this and have a chicane in here. So the cars are forced to slow down before they come around this corner and in through the pits. Much reducing their speed and much reducing the um, effect of collisions in that area. So this is the difference between today and 1965. Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Ursulescu and welcome to Suzuka, Japan. <laughs> the Suzuka circuit was designed 1961 and that's the way it goes. The Suzuka circuit was designed 1961 for Honda to test their race cars and production cars on this really complicated, twisting, curving race course. Now, that's the way they did it. <laughs> the Japanese Suzuka circuit was originally built in 1961 for Honda to use as a test bed on their brand new production cars and racing cars. The track is twisty. The track is very wild and it's very unstable and you can easily lose your car in it. But it does provide a very good race course for cars and a test bed for Hondas. <laughs> so here we are at the pit area in Suzuka, Japan moving down through the pits with our controllers and gate and we get up into the start finish area where we meet our Mercedes and the Ferrari. Now I've programmed these cars through the system to be ghost cars so they'll run automatically through the track as we go through this track today. So we're just going to start them off Here we are in Japan at the Suzuka circuit and we're moving through the pits where we end up meeting our Ferrari and Mercedes at the start finish gate. Now I've set these two cars up as ghost cars so we can see how a race is run. They'll move automatically but that's okay. So here they go. And we see that the Mercedes is a jerk wall. So here we are at the Suzuka circuit in Japan, and here's our two cars at the start-finish gate, the Ferrari and the Mercedes. I've set these cars up as ghost cars, and I'm going to run them so we can see how these races go. So hopefully they're not going to crash into each other as they go down the track. So we'll just start up the race here. Oh, dirty buggers. So here we are going into the pit area of the Suzuka circuit in Japan, where we end up meeting the Ferrari and the Mercedes. So I've set these two cars up as ghost cars today, sort of to show you how things will go. And we'll get started here with a little race between these two. And I'll introduce you to the track as the cars are going around. So hopefully these won't crash at the intersection at the beginning. And here we go. And they're off. Oh, you dirty little... Wasn't that a fun blooper? You know, I had to film that sequence about 15 times because the cars kept hitting each other every single time they went through that crossover. <sighs> anyway. What I'm here to say is, at the end of this video, I hope you can join us in our next league, which is going to be um, Group 5 Cars. A group 5 Cars from... Actually, it's Group 2, Group 5. 
Ah, look at all the bloopers. I'm just a mess. We're going to be racing on nine weeks in the next league. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so get ready for it. This is going to be very fun. Nine different race courses over a nine week period because April has one extra week in there for racing. And it's going to be group five from all around the world, including Australia this time as one of the countries that we missed in our last league. So have fun and get ready. Because France, Australia, Germany, and other places are going to be here. Actually, I don't think I'm doing Germany. That's in our next, next league. Anyway, we'll see you soon.